So what How? did you guys learn that really surprised you? Well, for me, um, just how bright he was and how <laughs> you can't make comedy about history unless you know history. Um, how well read he was. Um, just else? that that insatiable quench for uh, knowledge, and you know, he he really really uh, um, was incredibly curious as a person. He, he also was, had the ability. He was a speed reader, hmm. so Robin could read a book in thirty minutes. I mean, or an hour certainly at the most. But he that and he and he absorbed everything. Nothing was wasted. There was nothing left on the plate. And how giving he was. I mean, I heard stories about him. Well, you you know stories. But um, just helping people, helping homeless people, helping children in hospitals on the holidays, going on ASO tours. I mean, it's just, he. it was almost like he had a need to give. But he didn't know how, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but like if he, he didn't know how to give to himself. And that was kind of like the nub of kind of showing that, that. But then he could get back to himself when he was doing his comedy. So it kind of, he would fulfill himself. He had gigantic highs and lows when someone needed caring, when someone needed some cheering up. He would just go forever and when he was laughing, when he was having a great time, he had the loudest, I hated his laugh, because <laughs> it was just so loud. But that's who he was, you know, there was, there was no middle ground with him, and um, he loved lonely things, which is strange, I, I, we hadn't talked about that, but he was a cross-country skier, he was a runner, and he was a biker. He could uh, escape in a way. And he played video games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Alone. Uh, you himself. could you could be having a conversation with him. It was so annoying. And he would be concentrating on these horrible video war video games. And it was uh, you felt like you were talking to a child. Mm -hmm. And he just didn't care. Mm 